Today we're making a door. I'll try to keep it low poly since we aren't making the next triple A game in history. Now, like a normal person, I like to start off by imagining the end result. Then I try to break everything into smaller pieces. For this door, I made a standard model, nothing fancy. And above that, a peephole, since it's a horror game. <laughs> boy. I tried to not use a subsurf modifier, since that would cause an exponential growth in the poly count. Stick into using the loop tools circle to create a peephole. After making the base model, I worked on the little things that make a door, well, a door. Like always, keeping it low poly, since when doing low poly models, it is normal for every model to be the same quality, in order to have a style. This is why I dislike buying pre-made models and doing my own. And now, let's handle the situation. Sorry, I had to. I kept it simple, no need to complicate things. And the last thing, the lock. As I mentioned, I tried to avoid using the subdivision surface modifier. And then, I had to do the thing that gives me anxiety. Unwrapping. Well, my unwrapping skills are okay for the most part, but I get anxious when I have to press the unwrap button, expecting a monstrosity to appear. But, as the saying goes, if your unwrapping skills don't work, start doing some holes. What? Basically, put seams where you know for sure they aren't noticeable. And bonus, make an image texture by clicking new and select the generated type UV grid, then hook that image on a material and put it on your object. And for the handle, I made a seam below it, hoping that the player won't see it. For the rest of the objects, I used the smart UV project. And this is what I ended up with. I say it looks pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will make the other doors in my free time, and in the next one, we make furniture and miscellaneous. Bye bye.